the uh, record reflect we are back in session. Uh, parties and council are present. Uh, our jury is not present. So I've, with the help of the recorder and the clerk, I've tried to go through uh, various transcripts where various exhibits were referred to. The only reference to Exhibit 974 was with uh, Mr. Lissio. And there was an objection that it was vague as to what two images were in there. That objection was sustained. Then there was some vague, uh, there was some other, let's see. He said, then he says, the lower image is one of the frames. I don't know what he's, one of the frames of what? And then he says, and then the top image, I guess, is a still from the video that you were showing. I don't know what video that was. So, it's hard for me to figure out what those are. To complicate the matter even further, Exhibit 969, which is a photo, it may be a still from a video of the defendant's truck, which clearly shows the headlight and the parking light underneath it. In one question to Detective Smith, Mr. McGee referred to Exhibit 969 as being a photograph of the defendant's truck taken in 2010. And there was an objection, lack of foundation, which was sustained. And Mr. McGee says, I'll lay the foundation later. And so I allowed testimony about it, subject to a motion to strike, if the foundation wasn't laid. Don't see that any foundation was laid. Then, with Mr. Lissio, Mr. McGee asks Mr. Lissio a question about 969 and refers to it as a still image from the Sheriff's Office video of the truck. And Mr. Lissio seems to agree with that. Uh, so if we look at 974, which is the two images, or two, two images together, I think it's pretty clear the bottom image is one of the images from the Mitchell video. Correct. Uh, the top image, I have no clue what that is. That's the, that, and Mr. McGee indicates that, uh, Sergeant Smith testified about that. Uh, that's the video that we just saw uh, in here today where the San Bernardino uh, County Sheriff's Department went out to the scene and, and drove Mr. Merritt's truck in a similar fashion as to the Mitchley video. Uh, well, okay. Uh, so 969... appears to be a still from that video, the sheriff's office driving Mr. Uh, Merritt's truck. Correct. But if you look at those two photographs, they're from a different angle. Uh, the, the top image in 974 is almost straight <coughs> on with the right headlight. So it looks like the camera is almost directly in front of the right headlight. And 969 is clearly a little bit more elevated and more to the left. So it's, it's not a straight on view. Well, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, it's not supposed to be an exact representation of each. I mean, obviously, the Sheriff's Department did the best they could in terms of, you know, driving it in, the, in a similar fashion. Uh, but the issue, I would think that goes to the weight and not admissibility because Sergeant Smith has testified about that video and about 
Well, um, that I, I can't find it anywhere where anyone has referred to what the top image is in 974. So, uh, if you want to use compare 969 to one of the images of the Mitchell video, I think there's a sufficient foundation to do that. We have that as the exhibit um, 796 and 795, which is the same. Uh, okay, I did see some references to 795. Seven ninety five and seven ninety six are stills of that video, the sheriff's department video. I think that is correct. Uh, <coughs> so seven ninety five is the video. The actual video. Then 796 yeah. is the. So, let's see. There was an objection, but it was overruled. So, uh, Mr. McGee's asking, showing you 795. I'll play it for you. This is the video of the truck at night taken by the Sheriff's Department. Uh, there was an objection since that's not in evidence that it's the same camera and distance overruled. So he's referring to a particular... Do we have exhibit 795? Yes, Your Honor, that's the... Um, that is the uh, yeah. yes. That is the uh, the actual video. Well, it looks like he was looking at a still. Yes, and in seven ninety six is the is the still. Dolores, there might still be a book in the back. There's references to what the defense has marked as figure 15, figure 6, figure 8, but some of, a lot of those are not correlated to exhibits. So I don't know what that refers to. So can we play 975? They already have today. I mean 795. Yes, we did. They already played, played it. This morning.
I'm going to sustain the objection at this time. I, on the record, we have I don't think there's a foundation for what the top figure in Exhibit 974 is. So, you want to go ahead and bring it, our jurors in and continue? Okay. <coughs> Reflect we are back in session. The parties and council are present, and members of our jury are present. Uh, the objection to exhibit 974 is sustained as still at the foundation, uh, at least as to the top uh, photograph in that exhibit. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Stutchman, in, in your report, you refer to uh, class characteristics <coughs> and uh, individual characteristics of. Of, uh, of a particular item. Do you recall that? Yes. Can you explain what those are? Yeah, class characteristics are something that's common to a group of, of in this case, vehicles. It would be headlights, it would be the bumper, it would be taillight, excuse me, uh, not taillight, but tailpipe. Uh, <laughs> individual characteristics would be something that stands out and out uniquely from others. Um, Lights missing, lights present on one that are not on the other. Okay, so if you have an individual characteristic of a particular vehicle and you're doing a comparison, um, if you don't see that individual characteristic in, let's say, a video or a, or a photograph, can that be used as a basis to exclude uh, the other vehicle that you're comparing it to? It can. Okay. Um, now, in this case, we were talking about the headlights. We were. And the, uh, I mean, obviously I'm not an expert or anything, but if we're looking at headlights, is a lot of it visual and what you're looking at? Is that part of your job to? Head test, of course. Okay. So I'm going to show you um, uh, what we've already previously seen as Exhibit 1089. This is the series of, um, I guess, uh, uh, individual frames right. from the uh, Mitchley video. Yes. Correct? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to go backwards. Now, this is slide six, because there was a series of slides, and there's a six in the bottom left corner, correct? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to just go back, and... You're looking at the, uh, I'm going to ask you just to pay attention to the headlights. Yes. Okay. And <coughs> so as the, as the uh, vehicle moves forward. Let's, let's, let's yes. back up one. That's the best frame. Okay. Yes. So this is frame three. Yes. This is the headlights on the Mitchley video truck. Right. And then the need those headlights, and above the reflection is a dark spot, but there is no lights present, as you would see in the uh, parking lights or, or turn signals in the video we just watched. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to forward to uh, Exhibit 795? Yes. Okay. And you understand that to be the video taken by the Sheriff's Department? Correct. In 2014? Correct. Okay. And that was actually Mr. Merritt's truck? Yes. Okay. So if we, if we go to Exhibit 796, that would be a still of that video. Is that correct? That's correct. All right. Now, if we're looking at this video and we're comparing it to what we just saw in those frames, from the Mitchley video, is there some differences in individual characteristics? Absolutely. This one has a very prominently displayed parking turn signal light clearly beneath the headlight and a different different dimension and wider. And then down here is the reflection on the bumper. So this is between the head this is between the headlight, this driving light, and the reflection on the bumper. 
Now, in this regard, you heard uh, or you reviewed Mr. Lissio's testimony, correct? Yes. And he uh, was asked this same line of questioning or similar line of questioning. Um, and he indicated he wasn't able to tell, is that correct? Yes. All right. Can you, uh, did you agree with uh, Mr. Lucio in that regard? Objection. Improper uh, <coughs> testimony for an expert. No, no. Okay, and why? Because in the truck formerly owned by Mr. Matt, you can clearly see this very prominent driving light, turn signal light, beneath the headlight and above the reflection. On the truck that drives through the video, there is no corresponding light there. In fact, there's a dark spot between the bottom of the headlight and the top of the reflection. But that Michley video has poor quality, maybe even poor quality than what we're looking at in 796. Can correct? we go back to it? Sure. That's, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Now, now this is just uh, uh, Exhibit 1089 in this frame 6. Yes. <laughs> it is. And if you look here, you clearly see the square outline of the, the headlight. And you see the reflection. Right in here is where the turn signal driving light should be, prominently displayed if it was there. And as you should recall, it stuck out farther than the headlight did. In this, we have the reflection, we have the square bottom, and we have nothing in here that would resemble the, the, the light. So even reflection. with this poor quality, we should still see that running light extending out and, and, and being a separate uh, light piece. Yes. And uh, Mr. Lissio talked about the glow. Do you recall that him talking about glow? Yes. Would glow matter? No, no, because this is the configuration, the location, the size. It's not going to. It's not going to matter. Now, would that be an individual characteristic that you talked about? It would be. Would that be a factor for exclusion? It would be. So, based just on that, would you be able to exclude Mr. Merritt's truck? It, that would certainly be an exclusion factor. You can sit down. Then. Now you meant you talked about measurements as well, correct? Yes. Now, were you able to review some measurements of Mr. Merritt's vehicle done by uh, Crime Scene Specialist Ross? Yes. Okay. Specifically, what are we looking at here in Exhibit 1090, and what did you review? <laughs> at the bottom, this. Here is an excerpt, two excerpts from CC, CSS Ross's report. He indicates from his measurements, the top of the headlight to the ground is 39 inches. The middle of the headlight to the ground is 35 inches, and the bottom of the headlight to the ground is 32 and a half inches. Regarding the side marker light, the top of the marker light to the ground is 61 inches, and the bottom of the marker light to the ground is 60 inches. So what I've done here is photogrammetry to do, do measurement calculations. We see... Hold on, uh, let me just ask a question in between there, okay? Sure. Now, those measurements pertain to Mr. Merritt's truck, yes. correct? Yes, yes. Those measurements don't pertain to the vehicle we see in this uh, uh, still photograph. Correct. Okay. Now, you did measurements for this still Photograph, this right? Exhibit, correct. Okay, so go ahead. Which, for the record, is labeled as the still photograph is labeled as a uh, clip from the Mitchley surveillance video. Correct, and it's Exhibit 1090. Go ahead. Okay. So what what it, I, you know, we're looking at here is the headlight, and as you can see, the bottom of the headlight is 32 and a half inches, to the top of the headlight from the ground is 39 inches, so that's six and a half inches. So that gives a known dimension here of that headlight, 
and so I've got a line here on the bottom and a line on the top. And then I use um, Adobe Photoshop CS5 Extended, which has a measurement tool, very accurate measurement tool, tool, and use the headlight, six and a half inches, to cre create a custom scale. So now that, that gives us a custom scale to, to calculate other dimensions. So using that custom scale, went down from the bottom of the headlight, 32 and a half inches, and that gives us the ground. Then went from the ground up 60 inches, the height of the bottom of the marker light on the pickup used to belong to Mr. Merritt. And you can see that 60 inches puts it above the beam or whatever that is between the camera and, and the truck. And that would be where the marker light would be on Mr. Merritt's former truck. So, um, what is the significance of these uh, measurements here? <laughs> well, the significance of it is that, that side light that, that we know exists on the truck that Mr. Merritt used to own is 60 inches high. You could not see it because of the beam if it was the same truck and if it was Mr. Merritt's truck and the, and the marker light was at the height that it's been measured to be. Okay, I'm going to go to the next. Yes. And this is exhibit 1091. What are we looking at this here? This is a side light, which I labeled marker light, side marker light, but it's a side light. And this is the ground, and this is 60 inches. So you can clearly see this isn't the marker light on the top of the box on Mr. Merritt's former truck, um, because you can't see that because it's blocked by the by the beam. So this light here exists, and it's at a height you can still see it, and it can't possibly be the marker light on Mr. Merritt's vehicle. Mr. Merritt's vehicle, the marker light, whatever that side light is, is. 60 inches yes. high, correct? Yes, correct. And if Mr. if Mr. Merritt's vehicle was passing through on the Mitchley video, the side light would not be visible, is that correct? That's correct, we blocked by this beam. Is that why Mr. Lissio says that, 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 the, that the light is a ref uh, was not a light and was a reflection? Objection calls for speculation as to Lissio's state of mind. Okay. Um, is there uh, anything else in this video that you, or this uh, uh, 1091 that you wanted to point out? No, we can, we obviously here's this side light that's in, in question, okay. and we can now go to the next exhibit. And uh, 1092, what have you done here? What I've done here is, this is the headlight, and then moving the truck forward to the frames, this is an overlay. Mr. Stutzman, can I just ask you, when yes. you say this is the headlight, if you could just identify for the jury which out. headlight we're talking about. Oh, the same one we had in the last one. So the vehicle in the Mitchley video. Correct. Okay. And then this is the, the light in question. And the top of the headlight to the ground is 39 inches. And this light is right at the top of the headlight. So this light is um, about 39 inches from the ground. Um, again, precluding it from being the marker light on the side of the truck formerly owned by Mr. Merritt, because here's the 60 inch height and it would be hidden. So in other words, is what you're saying the side light on this vehicle in the Mitchley video is almost parallel to the headlight. Yeah, I'm saying height, correct. Okay. So the, the vehicle that passes through the Mitchley video passes with the headlight and that rear light almost parallel. Yes. Okay. But you, you testified earlier that Mr. Merritt's actual truck, the side light is way up here. Correct. 60 inches. Correct. Okay. Which is not consistent with this vehicle um, in the Mitchell video, correct? Correct. Okay. Is that another individual characteristic that you can use for exclusion? Yes.
What about angles? Now, uh, wait, let me interrupt you a minute. It's about 12, so we'll go ahead and take our new recess at this time uh, until 2 o'clock today instead of 1.30. Uh, so we'll see everyone back at 2 o'clock. Keep in mind the admonitions uh, are not the form. We're expressing an opinion about the case, not to discuss the case. We'll see everyone back at 2 p.m. Thank you.